everybody, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Can you see something different about sunshine and white dragon horse today? What are they wearing? You're right, they're wearing a mask. Poor Sunshine can't see very well when he's got his mask on there. Now you can see his eyes. Mm -hmm. They're actually wearing my masks. I got some new masks this week and I'm so happy with them. The one that Sunshine is wearing has, can you see what that is? Yeah, you're right, snowman. And what's on white dragon horses? Mm -hmm. Snowflakes. Why do you suppose I have masks that have snow on them? Is it summertime? Ah, oh, it's getting cold and it's getting to be winter. You're right. It's because it's winter time. I'm going to take White Dragon Horse and put him over here and Sunshine and put him there. And I'm going to take my mask off because I'm in my house all by myself. I don't have to worry. But I don't know. I don't think you'll be able to read the words on here. But this one says grateful. And it says grato, kutolen. I don't know how to say all these words. They're in many different languages. Taknemelik. They all mean the same thing, though. They mean grateful. Do you know what grateful means? Yeah, grateful means being happy, having a happy heart, being thankful and happy with what you have. Oh, I also got this other mask that has a letter. Mm -hmm. It's a letter W. You are right. But if you look closely, you can kind of see it looks like the trailers off of a big truck in New Westminster. Remember the big W that used to be down by the water, but they had that big fire and now it's not there. This mask is to help us remember that W. And I used to go by that W a lot, and I always knew, aha, I'm getting close to where Bram lives. Bram is my husband. He lives in a nursing home near where this W was. So I always knew I was getting close. It's a little trickier for me now because I get lost really easy. So without the big W there, I try to go a different way that I know. Mm -hmm. So have you been staying healthy and staying safe? Yeah. Going to, if you're going outside, you're making sure that you're staying close to mommy and daddy <clears throat> or grandma, grandpa, uncle, auntie, your teacher, whoever it is that you might be going outside with. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. I have missed you guys so much. My heart has been very sad thinking it's been a long time since we saw each other. A long time since I made a video for you. Too long for me. But I have been thinking about you a lot. And today I was out at the park. I wanted to go and go for a walk and take a video and show you. But there were too many people and too many people that weren't wearing a mask. So I decided not to go out there. I want to keep my body safe because I want to be able to see you. If I get sick, then I can't go and see you and I can't maybe make a video. Yeah. Um, Kira's mommy was telling me that Kira really liked the story down on the farm. And I realized I haven't shared another farm story with you that has always been one of my favorites. It's called C 
sitting on the farm. The words are by Bob King and the picture is by Bill Slavin. This is a really fun story. Well, you're sitting, a little girl who's sitting on the farm and she's about to eat and something jumps on her lap. What could it be? Oh, who's jumping into the video here? It's Maida. As long as she doesn't step on the record button. Here we go. Sitting on the farm. Sitting on the farm as happy as can be. I had a little bug on my knee. Can you see that little bug? I said, hey bug, get off my knee. That old bug said, no siree. So I picked up my telephone. I called my friend, the frog at home. I asked if he would like some lunch. The frog came over and munch, munch, munch. Oh, there goes the frog. Oh, and there goes the bug. The frog is jumping into the bowl. Oh no. Sitting on the farm as happy as can be. Now I had a frog on my knee. I said, hey frog, get off my knee. Well, that old frog said, no siree. So I picked up my telephone. You're right, you got this fast. I called my friend, the snake at home. Do snakes like frogs? Not particularly. I asked my I asked if he would like some lunch. The snake came over and munch, munch, munch. Oh, there's the frog's hat. The frog jumped away. But what's the snake gonna eat? All the cookies, you're right. Sitting on the farm as happy as can be. Now I had a snake on my knee. Oh my goodness. I said, hey snake, get off my knee. Well, that old snake said, no siree. Right, good remembering my friend. So I picked up the telephone. I called my friend, the rat, at home. I asked if he would like some lunch. The rat came over and... Mm -hmm. Munch, munch, munch. Oh, there goes the... Who's going out of the picture there? The snake, you're right. And what's the rat doing? He's eating the grapes. Sitting on the farm as happy as can be. Now I had a rat on my knee. Hmm. They're not my favorite animal. Are they yours? Some people like them. Hmm. Not particularly my favorite. I said, hey rat, get off my knee. Well, what happened? Uh-huh, that old rat said, no siree. So I picked up my telephone. I called my friend, the cat, meow, at home. I asked if she would like some lunch. What do you suppose? Will the cat want some lunch? The cat came over and munch, munch, munch. Should maybe it be? She slurped up the milk and there goes the, the rat, you're right. Oh dear. Sitting on the farm, you know how it goes. 
sitting on the farm as happy as can be. Now I had a cat on my, we almost had a moose on our keyboard. I had a cat on my knee. I said, you're right. Hey cat, get off my knee. Well, that old cat just looked at me because cats do that. So I picked up the, the telephone. I called my friend, the dog at home. I asked if he would like some lunch. What do you suppose? Is the dog going to come over? You're right. The dog came over and munch, munch, munch. He ate up the sandwich. Is there going to be any food left for the girl? What do you think? I hope so. Sitting on the farm as happy as can be. Now I had a, a dog on my knee. What happens? I said, hey dog, get off my knee. And that old dog said, no siree. So I picked up the telephone. I called my friend, the bear at home. I asked if she would like some lunch. The bear came over and munch, munch, munch. Oh no, what did she eat? Yeah, the cake. Sitting on the farm as happy as can be. Now I had a bear on my knee. I said, you say it. That's right, hey bear, get off my knee. That old bear said, no sir, So I picked up a telephone. I called my friend the who do you call to get a bear off <coughs> your knee? I don't know. Won't somebody help me please get this bear off my knee? Look who's helping. It's the, can you see that very clearly? The dog and the cat and the rat and the snake and the ribbit, the frog and the bug. Is the bear off her knee? No, they're trying. What does the bear look like? Is the bear looking happy, sad? I think very satisfied. Bear's tummy is full of sweets. And that's the end of that story. And my friend, it's time for me to go. So please remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope we see you soon. Remember that I love you so, 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 so much. And I want to see you very soon. Bye-bye.